Good day, everyone, and welcome to episode 28 in season two of our series on Airport CEO. And uh, we've opened up here uh, with a medium commercial stand with Maple, hopefully boarding and getting ready to take off. This is also going to be, uh, at least I think it's going to be, our thumbnail. So, just so that you're all up to date with where we're up to... Oh, look, still running late. Okay. Um, just to let you know, I did off-camera go in and do the scheduling so that everything is allocated. There are no aircraft left to allocate. And we're all scheduled out to the max, uh, which will be Tuesday of next week. But notice... There's plenty of room for more. Especially starting in Sunday and then Monday. Uh, we do have, up until Tuesday, well scheduled for medium commercial, but not beyond that. No, we don't want you to... Do, and Stop that. We don't, Stop it. Okay, with the flashing and everything going on. Uh, now, we also... Oh, why is everyone running late? Oh, and why are you shut down? Why are you shut down? The contract is active. And yet you are not working. And the contract... P5. What time is it? Three o'clock in the... Four o'clock in the afternoon. Why are you not working? What is your issue? I don't know. I really, really, really don't know. Maybe it's because everyone's going away, maybe? I can't tell. Oh, look at that. There goes our maple. On our air, on our uh, twin runways. What an odd thing it does there. Okay, any second now. There goes Mabel. Um, total funds a million dollars. We're not doing too badly. Um, now, we do, or did, in our last episode, see what we might consider to be a bit of a problem over here in security, where we had ginormous queues of people coming into our aircraft, uh, or, or to uh, board our aircraft. And we needed, actually, uh, well, I thought we needed to get some more security going for that and uh, if we do, I'm not sure how we're going to pull it off, to be honest. Uh, it does look like it could be a bit of an issue because the way we've designed our airport, there's just no more room. Unless, of course, unless, of course, I put them over here. And that could prove to be very interesting, but we may end up doing that anyway. Um, but I want to go back now just to uh, start off this episode and have a look at procurement because there are a couple of things we can get. And the one thing I was kind of interested in getting is this travel document scanner. Now, the travel document scanner allows operators to review passengers' travel documents in real time. It uses an advanced induction technology to scan the content of bags and pockets in order to display passport and boarding card. Now, if I read that correctly, that has either got to be useful... Well, it got, could be useful in three different locations. The check-in desk, the security, and the boarding desk. If it works in all three of those, it will hopefully speed up 
the throughput of people when they come into the airport up until the point where they board the aeroplane. As a secondary consideration, if it even helps one of those, and let's hope it helps um, the security issue, that's going to be beneficial for us anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock that right there and then. However, uh, what real impact it will have, I honestly don't know. Now, the other thing I'm quite curious about is this one, the mind reader. We know what you're thinking. You want to know where your passengers and employees are think what were no what? Oh sorry. You want to know that's you being me and of course you being you. You want to know what your passengers and employees are thinking. Actually <laughs> Actually, you don't. You, you really don't, because it's not going to end well if you know what they're thinking. Well, anyway, think no more and buy this mind-reading system, which will, in real time, derive the thoughts and feelings. Uh, okay, devs, if you're listening again, that's actually very bad grammar. Um, derive the thoughts and feelings of your passengers, of your... It, you have to identify the subject. There's no subject. Uh, but that's okay. So we're going to do that. Because we're flush with cash. I mean, we've got over a million dollars. We're flush. And I'm tempted to get this one. Are you longing for more data and more insight? This system is for you. The trials, trial, trial, the trial scanner allows you to track and review in real time where the targeted person's has been. Uh, heads up, poor grammar again. Where the targeted person has been. Otherwise, it would be where the targeted people have been. Okay, just a, just a dev shout out there. Good, good work. Carry on. Great job. I mean, who doesn't love airport CEO? But seriously... Uh, now, I also have to report, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that it's getting quite tedious, tedious, I tell you, to do the scheduling. So much so, in fact, that I am moderately tempted, but only moderately tempted, to turn on the auto scheduler. Moderately tempted to turn on the auto scheduler. But we're going to persevere for a little while. Uh, and we're also going to keep an eye on what we just started researching so that we know when it's done. Now, I have, I believe, done the travel document scanner in a previous series or season of Airport CEO. And I don't recall being able to see any evidence of its use anywhere. But we're going to find out in a minute because that's what we're going to find out. Except, is it is it email? Right. Well, we've we we got you. So we'll save you, inbox. And we got you, so we'll save you, and that's it. Okay, fine. Travel document scan. Ah, oh, okay. There you go. Now. If we go to security, we see nothing about travel document scanners. If we go to the check-in desk, uh, station aircraft two, check-in time, cannot accept baggage, blah, 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 right? So nothing there. And if we go up here, the boarding desk stand is actually can be bored, can change conference remote stand, blah, blah, blah. And uh, nothing there. So, you know, we're going to assume that it's working somewhere, but no guarantee. That's, uh, now the trails... All right, well, let's try the trail scanner. Trail scanner... Uh, 
uh, that would have been much more interesting if that person had been uh, French and his name had been Berlusconi. Was it French Berlusconi or Italian Berlusconi? Oh, I'm confused. Whatever. It would have been interesting anyway. Uh, he's got satisfaction up high. He's got fun. He is hungry. He has no energy. Enough seating at the airport. Uh, again, uh, just a dev. It should read, make sure there is enough seating at the airport. There you go. Uh, and uh, he has a bladder, which is very good to know because his doctor would be upset if he didn't have one. Um, right. What do you think, everybody? I think we need more somethings. Um, we could uh, I think actually what we could do now did we you know we did we built that we built this city on rock and roll great song actually um, but I can never remember it's not a bathroom it's not a staff room it's our food room that's what it is and it happens to be 24 by 12. And now I'm going to put another one in over here, right in the middle between these two. Uh, maybe on one side. Make Probably makes sense to put the bathroom in the middle, wouldn't it? You know what? I don't think it makes sense to do anything in particular here. Let's go 24 by 12. A food room. Food room. 24 by 12. About in the middle. About in... No, we didn't want to do that. Stop it. Oh, look what you did. How do you... That's what you do. Yes. Oh, very good. Uh, 24 by 12. Well, you know what? It doesn't have to be exact. So you would think that would be 24. And that would be 12, right? I think that's, that's pretty good. So, now, uh, food restaurants and the like. So let's start off by putting in the cash register counter. Now, uh, we did figure out from the last one that it needs to be switched around. And, and let's double check. I can't see. I can't see. It's blind. I'm blind. Well, yeah. Actually, I was deaf today. I had to go to the doctor um, and have, have, have ears cleaned out. It was shocking. Couldn't hear anything. It's a horrible experience. But the nurse was very nice, so that, that's important. That's a display fridge. You bet it is. No. Display fridge. And again, with the not being able to see anything. Display fridge. One. Two. One, two. I have no idea. I hope it's right. That's all I can say. Hope springs eternal from nature's breast. Now, um, can we in fact offer you a contract? Can we offer you a contract? Another cafe. It needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let's add eight or nine. Your two, okay, let's, 1,300, 2,000, 1,084, 1,084, 
1,400, 1,600, 1,000. Oh, well. <laughs> Petite Bissure, whatever that is. Uh, we need eight out of nine fridges. Well, we have eight out of nine fridges. We need a wee bit more, as it turns out. So a wee bit more probably looks like counter. No, I don't want people sitting in a counter, or do I? Well, is that the only sort of fridges you get? Apparently so. So, we need more. Well, if we need more, let's put more in. And that's that doesn't mean put more in in. That means put more in. So that's a counter. No, this is a counter. But this is a counter as well. I don't understand. So that apparently is a counter. And a counter to display food and vegetables. You said what? The, a countertop to frame to frame of a cafe or bar area with. I'm totally confused. Small size, low quality. Medium size. Medium size. Sure. I have no idea what that is. Um, but I do know what tables look like. So I'm very happy to put tables in. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to utilize our space. Like so. Everyone happy with that? Oh, I think it's exciting. And I'm, I'm quite a fan of the medium quality. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, I, hope, I hope everyone's enjoying this. Because I have no idea what I'm doing. wrong one don't want you there we want you there well I'm happy with that now we need to build oh sorry we should be building that while we're going along uh, and that's going to be that and I think possibly we need some more seating <clears throat> seating is actually going to be reasonably important for people who wish to maintain Oh, I can get a sofa. Oh, who doesn't want... Oh, did we put garbage tins in, by the way? I don't think we put garbage tins in. Who does... You know, I think we should put a garbage tin in. If you were a garbage tin, where would you go? How about there? Uh, and then possibly... The at the end there, we better put uh, another garbage tin. Um, how about we put one in the toilet there, or two in the toilet? That could work. And then we'll come down here. It's the little things that make the difference. Uh, and we can put a garbage tin right there in the middle of those two. Hey, why not? Uh, right, okay, new food thing going on, and now we need uh, seating arrangements for people, because pe see that, that says to me it's in a coffee shop, 
Yeah, it is, but what's it doing out here? When it should be in there. Well, it is in there. Oh, I'm confused. That's a bench. And... Oh, they've moved it around. Well, there you go. Um, sure. One. Is that going to be right? One, two, three. Uh, yeah. One, two, three. Hmm. I'm going to go with sure on the basis that I'm actually not really. But having done that, we could what does that look like? How would that know? I wonder what the hedge would look like. Well it wouldn't actually be a hedge, would it? Holiday tree. Cycad palm. Banana plant. You know what? We're all gonna go banana plants on this one. You know we've still got a million dollars in the bank. I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, no, B2, you need to go. Right now, as in don't muck around. Uh, that was B2, not B1. That's the pushback truck. I think maybe we... Ah, pushback trucks. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I do, you know. Stair truck, stair truck, fuel truck, fuel truck. I wonder if we've got enough pushback trucks. That's actually a good question. Vehicle overview. Jet truck, fuel. Performing, performing, going to parking, object, idling, idling. Ah, uh, we don't have enough pushback trucks. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we need at least five pushback trucks. Because I do, and we need procurement for them. I suspect that might be our issue right there. That we don't have enough pushback trucks. Now we only have the small pushback truck. And we have two. So if we need five, we need another blah, 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 three. And we're going to order them right now. And I think that will help us. And I'd so much like to know why they mill around. Why they mill around. We may never know. Here we go, we're ready. The franchise is closed. But what was our option? We were going to go... Petit bisou. Uh, thank you. We will sign the contract. Uh... Right, and hopefully you will function. Oh, you're still building. Wow, okay. Now I also hope, like, uh, like, like I really do, that, um, that I now have this facing the right way so that they'll queue up this way and uh, not queue up from this side going out like that. Um, and we're missing a chair. I think we should add our chair. 
Uh, no, not you. I think it was you, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, turn you around, put you there, put you in like that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, yeah, I, I think we could probably do with, uh, you know what, let's put the funny thing in that it has. The medium quality. Why is that medium quality? That's really bizarre that that's, quote, medium quality, unquote. Um, and, and why that is low quality, I have no idea. You know what? I don't know if that's going to work, but it might look cool. Okay, so... One million dollars and growing. And guess what? No delayed aircraft. Well, we have no aircraft. So... In the entrance... In the entrance? In the interest of uh, improvement to our runways I would like to upgrade some of our taxiways um, I wonder if you can do that no you can't do that we're going to go uh, taxiway found no aircraft stand taxiway foundation we're going to go high quality Kenkrit. Then we're going to run it all the way up to there. Then we're going to come up here and I think we're going to do the same thing. All the way across here. And I think that's going to look super duper pretty. Don't you all don't you all think that looks super duper pretty? Now, um, change the colour. Well, I'm keen. Let's try blue. Paintbrush mode. Really? Toilet is broken. Toilet is broken. I don't think changing the colour worked terribly well. Oh, is that it? Change the colour of the jetway? I'll oh, forget that. I thought we were going to do something really fancy there for a minute. No customers. Of course, there's nobody over there yet. All right, how are we doing? Now, I wonder if... Um, let's try you. Uh, it doesn't show me where you've been to or where you're going. No, nope, doesn't show me anything, except it's raining and I love the rain. Oh, and the lightning. That's really cool. Well, we're under a million dollars. And the thunder. Okay, now. Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, actually, you know what? Just for funsies... 
just for funsies. How about red? Oh no, how did you turn black? How about green? How about red? How about red? Okay. Oops. Yep. I mean, why not, right? I guess that kind of makes sense. Not that I know why you would have red ones, but there you go. Got red ones. And you are not making much money, are you? Sales, two of 9,200. No, you're not making a lot. 243 of 7,000. Well, you're not making a lot either. Okay. All right, but that is looking uh, a little better than it did at the beginning of this episode. We've got things organized and tidied up. Now, let's have a quick squiz at scheduling. Of course, uh, as you all know, ooh, Tuesday looking a bit grim. Okay, Tuesday onwards. Um, there is some aircraft stuff coming in, but not a whole lot, you would have to say. Now, why is Forest Air... Oh, yeah, you're not seeing a lot, are you? So, uh, let's just push you in there right now. Because we can... Like so. Right. All right. Ooh, yeah, we've got some spaces there. All right. But uh, we're in the middle of a thunderstorm, ladies and gentlemen, and we're 32 minutes into the episode. So I think this is a good place to call it. Uh, I'd like to thank you all very much for helping me paint our four air bridges over here red. I think it makes the airport run that much faster. Um, and as you know, stripes and red are always good to have. So uh, stay well, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Please come back and travel the Red Air Bridge into Grumpy's International Airport. But until then, stay well, and I'll see you all later. Bye.